Hi everyone, it's me Keith. Welcome to another computer related tutorial. For more tips and tricks regarding these topics, please feel free to subscribe and hit on the notification button. Okay, let's go. This time I'm going to teach you about PowerPoint. First, we are going to access PowerPoint by typing Power PNT. This is how it's going to look like regardless of its version. We have a couple of templates here to choose from or we can just use the blank presentation. So this is the interface of Microsoft PowerPoint. We have a couple of templates here if you have purchased this one. These are the file menu bar. It is present in all Microsoft Windows programs and this one is the shortcuts panel. This one is the slides panel. And this is the presentation area. This is where we are going to do the designing and presentation. Always remember if ever you are going to create a PowerPoint presentation, you need to have something like this. You need to have an outline of the details or the information that you are going to place. You also need to have pictures or any image that you can use to make your PowerPoint presentation more presentable. Let's start by copying this part. So what I'm going to do is just to copy this and paste it here. So the idea is 7 facts about computers. I'm going to provide a subtitle. I'm going to use my name in here. Next is we are going to create a new slide. Right click, new slide. Again, I'm going to go back, copy the details. So this will be our page 1 going to paste the details here again I'm going to copy the header which is the title of our PowerPoint presentation paste it here that's it now it's kind of boring so I'm just going to change the line spacing for this by clicking here that would be great resize this one a little bit or shrink this one a little bit automatically PowerPoint is going to adjust the size to fit then click on insert this device I'm going to find the images that I have stored in my desktop so I'm going to use the first one it's always better to find images first high quality images duplicate the slide by right clicking on it now I'm going to remove all the details from here press delete open again so I'm going to use the first number I'm going to copy this one paste it here I think that's it remove this image click insert this device choose the first image I'm going to resize this one okay so we're done with the first one this time I'm going to duplicate this one again and do the same thing let's make this one faster Now in here, I can adjust the image to fit by clicking on the picture tools then crop and I can crop the image to focus it with the wooden mouse itself.
Now I think we're down to the last one. Let's go back to the first one. This time we can change the design under the designs tab. You can find it in here just hover your mouse and automatically the design will be applied temporarily. If you have chosen your design you can just click on it. I am currently confused on which design should I choose but I'm a minimalist so I'm going to choose this one. It's black and white with images so that it would be easier to see for my viewers. I think this is good enough. Next is we are going to deal with transitions. So these are the transition animations. So it is like providing animation for each of the pages of our PowerPoint presentation. You can choose any of these transition animation whatever you like. But in as much as possible, if you are going to create a PowerPoint presentation for business purposes or anything that deals with elegance and professionalism, you just have to use the fade effect to make it more professional. But since this is just for educational purposes, then you can choose from any of these PowerPoint presentation transitions. So I think we're done with the transitions. We can click on the slideshow and click on from beginning or okay I'm going to choose from beginning. We are going to preview our PowerPoint presentation. You can press your mouse clicker. You can choose a laser pointer if you want to discuss something. You can disable it by clicking it again. Click the forward button to move to the next or you can simply press the forward button on your keyboard to proceed to the next slide until you reach the last slide of your PowerPoint presentation. Once you're done, that is how it's going to look like. This time we are going to proceed with the animations. First you need to click on an image click on animations tab we have a lot of animation transitions here let's start with the entrance entrance means going in we have additional options here click on from right so that will start from right click again I'm going to choose emphasis emphasis is like moving within the page only it's not going in or going out up next is we are going to choose another image and choose exit. This time the image will exit or move out from the page. We also have another wonderful animation here. This one is the motion path. It's quite confusing at first because it gives you some sort of direction on where you are going to start. You can click on preview to show the animation. If you don't like that animation, you can just simply choose animation pane, then click on this button right here, then remove. Now you can apply another animation to that. Let's say if I'm going to use custom path, I can draw my path and automatically the image will follow that path. Press my enter key on the keyboard. That's it. It's quite crappy but the main purpose of this is for educational purposes. You can apply animations to all of your images on your PowerPoint presentation. Now once you're done with it, you can click on slideshow and preview your animation or preview your PowerPoint presentation. The animation is kinda crappy 
kind of garbage however the main purpose of this powerpoint presentation tutorial is for you to learn on how to use all of them the last part is on how we are going to save it just click file save as click browse go to desktop or anywhere then save it with your desired file name you can choose from different file types choose pdf if you want to save it or print it or choose powerpoint for default and that's it that is how you are going to start and end microsoft powerpoint okay guys i hope you have learned from that one so if you have any requests and other topics that you have in mind please feel free to message us and of course hit the subscribe and notification button for more updates okay so bye for now